Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to disable the Start Menu Auto Expand when you mouse over in Windows 10. This appeared in Windows 10 build 1909, right about November of 19. And let's show you what it is. Start. And when you move your mouse here, it auto expands. See that? So I'm sure you already knew that. So I'm going to take a shot at doing this video in one run and hope I don't make any mistakes. You have to download the free Mach 2 app. Go ahead and click this and the video will be video description will have the link to this so you can jump to it and download either the 32-bit or the 64-bit one of these two depending on what your operating system is once you have it we're gonna to need to use PowerShell to get to it and it shouldn't be that complicated but because it has weird names in it for example the folder has this big long name in it you'd have to be able to type that correctly here's what I would do extract the files and put them somewhere you can find easily so let's say we're in the desktop just name it Mach 2. Clear that out, and it's going to be easier for us to type in just a minute, and I'll show you why. Hit Extract, and there's our Mach 2 folder. So now what we're going to want to do is open PowerShell up with a Windows key plus X, and run it as admin. And once again, as I was mentioning, let's see if we can get it right. I'll try and do a couple of steps. CD space, C colon, backslash, oh, let's see, users, Tim... That'd be users, your name. Let's say desktop, see how we do. There we go. Now, if you type DIR, you can see where you're at. And there's your Mach 2 folder. So let's do CD space Mach 2. And then you can see the files that are contained. So now let's jump back to the guide and get the code that we want. Now, a lot of times, if you type just this in, you'll find that PowerShell has disabled right click and highlight PowerShell has disabled allowing you to run certain commands so you may get an error message let's go ahead and see if we can get that error message yep so what you want to do is just scroll down another hair or go ahead and add dot forward slash in front of that which I added for you right here so make sure you get that dot forward slash and hit copy let's go back and it will work this time and you should just come out with OK. Now you either want to log out or reboot for the changes to take effect. I'm going to go for rebooting. I don't have great luck doing it the other way. So let's do a restart and then we come back up. It should be disabled hopefully. Find out here. Hold on. I'll hit pause while we're rebooting. Welcome. We're coming back now. And in a perfect world, I got this right in the first try because I really don't know. I just took a shot at it. Here we go. Please work. There you go. Holy cow, I got it right the first time. That is impressive. Cool. So, real quick, let's bring the page back up. And I just want to mention before we go, in case you change your mind later. Oh, stop it and you want to restore it the code is down here and don't forget you might need to use the dot forward slash so let's give it a quick run highlight that right click copy win x powershell admin yep and let's see if it does it without that so again all you got to do is just go period backslash did i say forward slash before i might have just, if i did period backslash control v Oh, stop it. What did I do wrong here? Let me look at my own code. <laughs> Almost got it perfect the first time. So it should work. Should be. So basically, you just want to do that and then enable. So it should work for you. Mach 2 enable. So make sure I got the code right for you. I don't want to uh, have a problem later. Maybe I caught something in there. Let's see here. What was the error? Oh, what an idiot I am. Uh -huh. I, somebody in there, somebody out there is laughing at me right now. We have to go back to where we were. To the Mach 2 folder. Yeah, think as we discussed earlier. Now let's try it. 
period, backslash. Sorry about that. Always good to show a mistake because people always think we know everything and we really, really don't. And that's the kind of stupid mistakes that we make ourselves every day. So there are no stupid questions, as we like to say. So there you go. Now you're back. And if I reboot, I'll be back to the old where it mouses back over. So there you go. Hopefully that helps you out, especially if you don't like the auto expand. We didn't care for it. And we appreciate your watching. Click subscribe, blah, blah, blah. See ya.